hi guys welcome to my tutorial so in today's tutorial I will explain you how to install Ubuntu software so we know that we all know that one is Ubuntu is one of the most popular forms of the Linux operating system it is also available for free and it will run on most almost any computer so in this tutorial guide will I will show you how to install Ubuntu by booting from CD or within window, Windows yourself. So before the installation you have to you have to need a CD or bootable pen drive. So if you don't have uh, any Ubuntu software CD first you have to download the Ubuntu ISO file. You can get the ISO file from the Ubuntu website. Uh, an ISO file is a CD image file that will need to be burned before you can use it. So there are two options available from the Ubuntu website. One, you can directly buy that CD from Ubuntu. The other way is you have to download it from that uh, Ubuntu, web, Ubuntu website so the latest version of ubuntu is 16.4 lts so uh, now today i am using the older version of 14.4 because 16.4 i am not not downloaded so that's why i am using this one there are two versions of linux ubuntu software available one is 32 bit and uh, another one is 64 bit so commonly people are using 32 bit because the 64 bit requires more ram and memory size so that's why people are using the 32 bit opera system if you are using 32 bit opera system uh, you need less uh, ram because a example for that uh, if you are using 32, 32 bit uh, you need 1 gb ram so if you are using 64 bit you need uh, almost uh, 2 GB RAM and uh, also required a uh, good processors. A processor means your CPU. So guys, once you have finished the finished the burning to disk, restart the com you restart your computer and uh, choose the boot from the disk. You may have to change the your boot preference by hitting the setup key while your computer is restarting. This is typically typically is F12 or F2 or delete button and escape these are the common bootable shortcut key for shortcut key in commonly you in using in motherboards and uh, systems and laptops so guys this is the default installation welcome screen in ubuntu so there is two options available one is try ubuntu and uh, another one is install ubuntu if you are using try ubuntu before installing once you boot from the disk you will be given the option to try ubuntu without installing it this op the opera system will run from the disk and uh, you will you will you will have a chance to explore the uh, layout of the opera systems so i am not uh, selecting that one in today's tutorial i am explaining the how to install the ubuntu software so you need to first of all you need to select the languages uh, there is a lot of language available in sidebar so if you have what you what language you have to like you would to like uh, i'm choosing the commonly we are we all know that we are perfect in not perfect but uh, we are commonly using the language english so i am selecting that one i am selecting the language in english and try and choosing the second option also the install ubuntu so wait for a second so this is the second menu your computer will need uh, for for the installation of ubuntu installation of ubuntu you need to your computer requires at least 4.5 gb of free space you will want more than this if you want to install the program and create files if you are installing on a laptop make sure that it is connected uh, to a power source as installing can drain the battery faster than normal so there is two options available one is has at least 
6.5 GB available drive space 4.5 GB or 6.5 GB is commonly say that uh, 4.5 GB so, so this software now here is showing 6.5 GB is av available drive space so the second option is uh, is connected to the internet so I have just disconnected the internet cable so that's why the into mark is available here if you want to if you need to download the more update software so more plugins first you know how to connect the internet cable so the uh, the other remaining two options uh, you can show the other remaining two options so so I am choosing this one and uh, press the continue button so this is the next and uh, most important installation type option installation type menu option there is lot of option is the errors disk and uh, install ubuntu and the encrypt uh, the second option is encrypt the new ubuntu installation for security and the third option is use lvm with uh, the new ubuntu installation so the fourth one is something else so if you have windows installed on your system you will be given a couple options on how you would like to install Ubuntu you can either install it alongside your previous Windows of installation or you can replace your Windows installation with Ubuntu if you installing it alongside your old version of Windows you will be given the option to choose your operating system each time you reboot your computer your Windows files and the programs will remain untouched so I am not choosing the remaining three options. I am using the RS disk and uh, install Ubuntu because there is no files available in my driver drive space. So that's empty now. So I am choosing this one RS disk and the install Ubuntu button and click install now. Just continue. Wait for a second. So the next option is where are you? where are you means uh, ubuntu request to know that uh, where is your preferred location so uh, so that's why i am in india so i am that's why if you are con so i am in india that's why i am connected in and choosing the india and the kolkata so kolkata is the time time schedule 5 30 that we are using in kolkata standard time so that's why i am choosing this one if you are connected to the internet this should be done automatically verify the time zone displayed is correct and then click the continue button choose the continue button so the next one is keyboard layout uh, set up your keyboard layout you can choose from a list of options or click the detect the keyboard layout button to have Ubuntu automatically automatically pick the correct option so I am choosing the English US keyboard layout choose the English one you can choose anything if you know the other languages also you can choose the other options so I am choosing the English US so press continue so the next option who are you who are you means because enter your login information enter your name the name of the computer which will be displayed on the network choose a username and uh, come up with a password you can choose to have ubuntu automatic login option is there or require your username and password when it starts if i am typing the username i am using the username jitsu and uh, i am pick a username this one your name is jidesh and uh, so actually i am using uh, my nickname jitsu and uh, choosing a password jitsu143 confirm the password jitsu143 and uh, you can choose these three options login automatically the if you are choosing this one uh, you don't need uh, to type your uh, password at logon so if you are choosing this one require my password to login press continue button so this one is installing wait for the installation process to complete so once you choose your login info the installation will begin 
during setup various tips for using ubuntu will be displayed on the screen once it is finished you will be prompted to restart the computer and uh, ubuntu will load so wait for 10 minutes or something you know, it will take around uh, 10 to 15 minutes so so guys the installation is completed so you have to restart your computer press the restart button once the fin installation is complete you will be given the options to reboot now or later when you reboot you will see a new menu uh, before windows starts that allows you to choose between if you are used uh, windows and ubuntu that will show you there will sh a one menu show you so these are restarting options there is a lot of uh, one killing all remaining processes fail option is seeing so don't worry for that uh, the installation is okay it will perfect so wait for uh, two minutes so guys the installation is finished the system is restarting so it's coming so this is the default uh, startup menu in Ubuntu so you have to type your password here so one four three tutorial the installation is finished so this is the default uh, default screen desktop for ubuntu software so thank you for watching my tutorial so i'm signing out jitu ashmi if you want to want more tutorial please subscribe my youtube channel and also visit my website www.jituashmi.com so goodbye